Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm from Miller North. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. This is my poem, The Unwanted Book. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be reincarnated? Well, I have. If I were to be reincarnated, I would want to become a book. I would want to become a book to be noticed by everyone, because sometimes people in our world are left out. Whether it's that they were never taught to read or write, or they just don't have the chance to go to school. For crying out loud, some people don't even have access to fresh water. They aren't noticed, and they are left behind. If I were a popular book, one that everyone would read, I would have a flawless love story. I would be shiny, pretty, and clean. I would be in everyone's homes. My Prince Charming would save me from the dangerous dragon. Of course, he would almost die in the process, but after he saved me, we would live happily ever after. Ugh, I would feel so fake. I have no imperfections. Everything is all, oh, look at the pretty, pretty princess. But really, imperfections are what make us feel real. They make us feel alive. As a perfect book, I would be happy. The kind of happiness that people see only on the outside, but if you take a deeper look, I'm actually fake. What if I were an unwanted book, ready to fall off the shelves, dusty, wrinkled, and overall just gross? Maybe a miracle would happen. Imagine a sad and lonely person walking through the shelves. Something about me catches their eye. They look at me, study me, pick me up, and hold on. Before I was ready to fall, I was genuinely happy. I had friends, I had amazing grades, I had the love of my life, or so I thought. My love, my other half, tore me to pieces. This evil snake that had once been a huge part of my life was telling me I was worthless. They were telling me I wasn't going anywhere in life. And I started to believe them. With my heart broken, I started tipping over the side of the shelf until he came to my rescue. He caught me, my savior, my new reader. The brown-haired boy with chocolate brown eyes. He told me I looked like a princess even as I was standing in front of him wearing the raggedy servant clothes that make me look like anything other than a glowing princess. He loves me for who I am. He loves my dusty and crusty self. As a gross and unwanted book, I have flaws, torn covers, cracked spines, wrinkled pages, but those nicks and marks make me special. Yeah, I may be dusty, but if you take a deeper look into my pages, I tell no lies. I embrace my imperfections. The scars on my cover are not ugly. They are beautiful. I am beautiful. I was chosen because of these flaws. My torn covers make me who I am. I'm not some shiny and perfected book. I love my exceptionally frizzy hair. I love my mad-looking resting face. I love the slight rent to my cheeks that doesn't ever leave. I love that I'm, not, that I'm not the tallest person in the room. I have learned to love these things, and you will too. You will find your brown-haired, brown-eyed mystery man. You will find the one who makes you feel like royalty while you're standing there in old, ripped, and dusty servant clothes. Never give up the search. Thank you.